Well, the U.S. is sending more military assets to the Middle East as Israel braces for a major Iranian attack. The Israeli military is pushing deeper into southern Gaza, while Hezbollah keeps up a steady stream of fire near the northern border. This is as tensions continue to escalate throughout the region. Israel is still bracing for a major attack from Iran 12 days after a senior Hamas leader was killed in Tehran. The U.S. has sent a guided missile submarine to the Middle East, hoping to provide more cover ahead of a possible Iranian airstrike. And joining us now to go more in depth on the issues in the Middle East is Richard Stoll. He is an Albert Thomas Emeritus Professor of Political Science at Rice University. So thank you so much for speaking with us. Now, we were talking about during the break just about how them sending, them being us, the U.S. sending the missiles there. What kind of message is being sent other than our support to Israel? I, I think we are also registering our concern that we don't want to see the violence get out of hand. Yes, we favor Israel, but we don't want to see a long deadly war in that region. And U.S. intelligence is saying that this attack could happen anytime this week. How certain are we that Iran may attack Israel? I, I think there's a lot of pressure on Iran. I mean, this you, we can say this person who was killed was a really bad person doing really bad things. But from Iran's point of view, leaving that aside, it's like this was an attack that was done in our territory by another country. We can't allow that to go unpunished. I think there's certainly going to be that argument within their government. And how concerned should not just the U.S., but really the world be when it comes to these tensions in the Middle East? Well, you know, first of all, most, most of us don't want to see large-scale violence because it's inevitable that, that people who are not direct participants, civilians, children, are going to be killed, and that's no one wants to see that. Uh, there's also the prospect of a long-term war that maybe, no, on the one hand, uh, reduces the supply of oil from the Middle East, and there are countries that have, uh, for example, Israel has nuclear weapons. Other countries may want to get nuclear weapons. So this could be a really, really deadly conflict. And even if you favor one side over the other, I don't think anyone outside of that region wants to see that kind of conflict. So you're saying this could be a catalyst to something bigger? Right. Yes, absolutely. Now, there's supposed to be ceasefire talks to resume on Thursday. How do you feel in terms of them actually coming to fruition? Uh, I think, you know, if they actually sit down, uh, there is a decent chance we'll see a ceasefire, but a ceasefire does not end the conflict. It lowers the level of violence for a period of time, but it doesn't really address the issues that cause the parties to want to fight. So it's, it's better than continuing to fight, but it's not the end of the conflict. That's what, a very difficult thing to do. What needs to be done? Uh, I think in the short run, I, I do think a ceasefire would be beneficial, and I think you, you know, various parties have to talk to the, the key f figures and say, you can't win this. You can keep uh, committing violence, uh, killing people, hurting th the people you regard as the bad people, but you're not going to get rid of them. So you really ought to talk about, is there some other thing we could do we can still dislike each other, but do we have to, to be crude about it, killing each other all the time? It's definitely very interesting since Benjamin Netanyahu came here, spoke with President Biden for President Trump, and we're not sure what all was talked about there, and they're going to resume talks on Thursday. Yeah, and, you know, the U.S. does support Israel. Mm -hmm. I think it's fair to say the U.S. doesn't completely support all the things that Netanyahu would like to do, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean we don't support Israel overall. All right. Thank you so much for your insight. I'm sure we'll bring you back in to talk more about what is developing in the Middle East. Thank you.